all for, for joining us uh, this afternoon. First of all, thank you very much to the NUS and Professor, Professor Siva um, Soti yes. <laughs> for uh, helping us organize this event. My name is Pat Byrne, I'm the Irish Ambassador. I'm delighted to be here today with my European Union colleagues to participate in this beach cleanup here at Changi Beach. It's very important to demonstrate, I think, that all of us can play a part in keeping our beaches and our environment free of plastic and free of waste and uh, really helping to, to make the world a better, a safer, a cleaner place. And it's particularly important to do so uh, in the days now ahead of the Ocean Conference, which will highlight the, the threat of plastics and other waste to our oceans, to our beaches, to our environment. So, uh, hope we have a great day. to pick up the rubbish because otherwise all these turtles and all these animals that are harmless will die. And um, if you don't pick up the rubbish that you throw up to yourself, we could be, um, by 2050, there would be more plastic in the ocean than any other fish in the world. And I do it because I am worried, I concerned about their future. I want to live in a better planet than we could have. one of the series of, of a lot of events that, that uh, people are organizing in Singapore and I think it's really good that you know they come sort of a ground up initiatives as well so that's when people become more responsible and when they see the results of cleaner beaches and so 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 I think it's good and it's good to participate. I love it we can take action and help the world against uh, plastic pollution. The main reason for being here today is uh, what I'm holding in my hands here I think it's really paramount that we keep the oceans clean and that we keep our environment clean for the future generations. And uh, maybe today was a, a specific good moment to do that because uh, on Monday we have the Our Ocean Conference starting in Bali. So both of us, we're very happy to be here. See you. <laughs> Say bye-bye. The European Union, I think, has a big role to play there. And uh, this is actually a topic that is very important for the European Union. Only this year in uh, February we issued um, a plastic strategy um, in a circular economy which uh, helps us to do much more about plastic. Uh, recycling plastic, reusing plastic, changing the design of pl plastic so that um, uh, it, it can be used more often. So uh, we are doing uh, a lot on this and only this week actually the European Parliament has voted in favour of a proposal from the European Commission um, to, uh, to ban single-use plastic in, uh, in terms of the most found uh, items of single-use plastic in the ocean uh, which will really drastically reduce uh, uh, waste that we find uh, in the oceans, marine litter. Well I was really happy that the EU delegation decided to invite us out to come and clean the beach because a clean beach is important for anyone who lives along a coastline and my country Denmark has more than 7,000 kilometers of coastline so we see at home how the plastic compiles and we read stories about plastic oceans uh, floating around in the seas and uh, as a parent and as a human being that's just unacceptable. So coming here to try and help is, uh, is a small thing to do and won't change the world but maybe it will inspire others to do the same and uh, let's all cut down on the use of plastic in the first place. Uh, so in Singapore we've organized coastal cleanup for uh, more than quarter a century. Uh, because Singapore is cleaned very well uh, many of our citizens are unaware there is a big problem in the sea. 
So when we bring them out to the beach for themselves and they pick up all these small particles and they realize, oh my goodness, where is all of this coming from? And it's all coming from upstream where our urban living has a culture of convenience and a high dependency on plastics, it's really critical that they start to think of solutions.